to foot top with chill. Today's recipe is a caramel custard or a caramel flan. It's a super easy recipe to make and there's no reason why you shouldn't prepare it at home for your loved ones. And what I'm going to show you today uses condensed milk. So that makes it super rich and creamy. So let's dive in and see how to make a caramel custard or caramel flan at home. The first step towards preparing our caramel flan is to grease our ramekins. So let's just use a little bit of melted butter and grease our ramekin. Let's keep this aside and get on to the next step. Heat a pan and I'm using 1 cup or 200 grams of caster sugar. You can use regular sugar as well just that it takes a little more time for caramelization. I generally like to cook little by little so that this melts and then I put in the next batch. When it starts melting, shake the pan and spread your sugar across. While your sugar is melting, keep half a cup of hot water ready. We need it when the caramelized sugar starts bubbling. The more you let it froth like this, the darker your caramel will be. Reduce your heat and when you have a nice golden brown color, add your hot water into it to stop the cooking. But please be very careful. It may splash. Let's pour our caramel now into the prepared ramekin bowls. Just spread the caramel on all sides of your ramekin and then just leave it aside until we prepare our flan. To prepare your flan, Take your mixer jar, add two eggs into it. One tin of 400 grams of condensed milk. Use the same condensed milk tin to measure out your milk. So you need one tin of milk. Into this, let's add two teaspoons of vanilla essence. Blend this well and you mix for the caramel custard to be ready. Spoon this into your prepared ramekin bowls. And meanwhile, make sure your oven is preheated to 160 degrees Celsius and you have a bowl of hot water or boiling water ready to pour into your baking tray because this bakes in a water bath. So it sort of steams and bakes together. Just cover this with a foil so that the top doesn't brown a lot. Let's put it into the oven. So if you see the sides are, you see it's all done whereas the center is slightly juicy. This is how it should be, that is what you're looking for. If you've liked our recipe of caramel custard, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Foot Talk with Sharon for regular updates.